Greetings everyone, welcome to another video on this uh, YouTube channel. Um, we saw before how to upgrade uh, Vim 1, the part of the Vim Data Platform Advance. Now let's go uh, to the next step on the, uh, on the journey and it's to upgrade Vim Backup and Replication, which is uh, the part uh, of Vim Data Platform uh, Foundation. So or when you are in advance, uh, that this is being backup and replication. I have here two pending approvals, some, some things that um, I didn't. Um, uh, you can always log into with another user and then put the multi-factor authentication. So I'm just going to reject them um, because another administrator needs to, uh, needs to accept those. That came in 12.1. Um, let's take a look of what the version we have running, 12.1.2. 0.172. Let's take a quick look at the uh, releases. So 12.2 is out um, and I'm just running 12.1.2. So that is the, um, uh, the version before, but today on this video, we are going to see how to upgrade to 12.2. Uh, I usually disable all the jobs just in case that you have some CDP or some uh, SQL load transaction every 15 minutes, things like that, replication jobs and so on. Um, a job is uh, it's finishing here, it's just uh, even finished, it's just now doing the uh, merging the incremental. Couple of things, couple of best practices, please follow the release notes, of course, but uh, I don't know, my particular one, uh, particular advices are just like uh, doing backup of the backup config with uh, in, uh, encryption. So the passwords will be um, saved and encrypted, protected, right? So um, that's a good practice. Another small thing, you can always do a VMware snapshot in the case that you're running this virtually or Hyper-V. Um, Checkpoint, right? So if it's physical, you can always make a copy as well or, or you know, with the VMaging for Windows. But I mean, with the config backup, that's everything you are going to need in case something something goes wrong. But then a snapshot, of course, it always accelerates the, the process of a quick rollback. So the job has finished. My job here on the uh, on the console, and now now what I'm gonna do, um, what I'm going to do next, it is uh, everything is finished, everything it's disabled. So I, I'm quite happy with uh, with what, what I have. Let's close the console. the backup replication console and now we can open the um let's open now the the uh, let's search for the iso right i do i have downloaded already from my downloads page on the uh, beam.com i have it here on my nas on my qnap nas and then uh let's mount it i'm using the veeam data platform iso uh because this this have the uh, includes the three products right it includes orchestrator which um i'll show you how to operate on another on another video it does include as well uh Bing one which the video is already released and it does include as well Bing backup and replication which is the video that we are seeing um right now so you can see over here, Vim Data Platform, um, Premium Edition, and the big button here, which it says, um, which it says Upgrade. Okay, there you go. Vim Backup and Replication 12.2. That's what we're trying to uh, to upgrade. The first step is uh, upgrade the Enterprise Manager because I have Enterprise Manager on this uh, on the same server. So the wizard is not going to allow us to do Vim backup and replication first and then end up with some problems on the enterprise manager. It's already detecting we have enterprise manager and only showing us that option, which is which is quite nice to be honest. Let's say uh let's click on I accept the uh well the license agreement, right? Nothing out of the ordinary. Now the um source version and the target version 12.2. It has detected my license already, which is quite nice. Let's click next. It's doing some configuration check. 
now to see if I have some missing features. Um, I hope no, but let's take a quick look. Oh yeah, look, I have the Visual C++. Uh, it's not installed, so I just need to... Um, it's just going to enable it and then uh, it requires a reboot. That, that's okay. It's, it's a quick reboot. And of course, I'm doing this um, usually with the, you know, with a scheduled uh, operation window, right? I have rebooted now and then I'm just triggering the, uh, the wizard all over again. Trying to go through the same steps, being backup replication 12.2. Upgrade Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager, as I have done before. And now, same license step, same source and target, license. And now it just goes directly to the service account. I'm just using local system for now. That's completely up to you. You can always uh, use the uh, specific service account with the uh with the privileges that you need it's going to use the uh it's going to upgrade whatever it needs to be upgraded on the database i'm using postgresql already since version 12.1 which is very convenient um very cost effective and it performs very well yeah okay it's telling me uh it's going to use the database i'm quite happy with that There is no issues whatsoever, so now I can click on uh, on upgrade, and this is going to upgrade my um, Veeam Enterprise Manager to version 12.2. It doesn't take long, to be honest. Um, remember that Enterprise Manager it's uh, it's it's some sort of very lightweight, I, 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 I like to say, uh, really powerful tool that it manages um, different Veeam backup and replication servers. You can see there uh, the job statuses and then perform register operations from there. It is quite nice tool, um, a web application. So it's, it, is, it is quite nice and very lightweight. Let's click again on the Veeam backup and replication 12.2, because now, the wizard should show us a different option, which is finally um, upgrade Veeam Backup and Replication 12.2. Uh, so please remember to do this at, uh, you know, on, on a schedule um, window operation that you, uh, where you are going to run the upgrade on all of the components. You see, now I can upgrade Veeam Backup and Replication. It's not disabled anymore. This entire process, I, I have accelerated some of the steps. Uh, the entire process, it has just, uh, uh, if I remember correctly, around 20, 25 minutes with all of the uh, reboot included with the uh, enterprise manager that it needed a uh, reboot. So yeah, around 20, 25 minutes uh, on, my, on my small lab. Most likely uh, some uh, disk performance perhaps um, that it was reading or because the the ISO I had it on the uh, on on the NAS um, so perhaps that was not performing um, as it would have been on local disk you can see I'm, I'm just doing going through the usual steps that I've done as well for the enterprise manager um, just accepted the EULA and now I guess uh, I'm happy with the license it detected the license that I have same for Veeam Backup Replication, I'm just using local system account, but you have best practices on the help center where you can take a look and use a specific service account. The database is the same, it's PostgreSQL. Well, the server is the same, PostgreSQL, right? The instance, but then the database is different. In this case, it's Veeam Backup and it's going to perform um, whatever it needs to be performed um, which I'm expecting that, yeah, the, 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 there are a lot of changes on the on the database, some some new tables and um, and so on and so forth, right? Some um, some store procedures, some views, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'll rec I will recommend it to you not to mess around much with the database, um, but anyways, you can always open it with pg admin and, and take a look what's happening there. Um, 
let's click upgrade it was some comments there regarding the space and disk um i will try to expand maybe later on the uh the c drive where i have uh the backup replication installed on the server right so um yeah i have that i have enterprise manager installed um and then some of the jobs um that i'm running they are uh file base and, and and they just create um a lot of transaction logs so okay this has been upgraded again i accelerated the process uh and it, but it just took around the time that i mentioned now we're ready to open to open the vim backup replication 12.2 console um as per usual let's let's take a look of what um the version that we have etc etc so yes, you, you can see I'm using just uh, one evaluation evaluation license with a very long term. Yes, for yes for internal labs. And although I cannot show absolutely everything that what's new on the version twelve point two for uh, being backup replication, I don't have all the platforms. Let's go through the uh, upgrade of the uh, remote components, quite handy. I have a lot of servers there, proxies and so on. Everything has been updated. Let's enable now all the jobs and then they will follow the schedule. So if I have something in schedule within a few minutes, it will run. I have some repository which is unavailable, but I'll fix that later. It's not a problem of um, a beam. Here under managed servers, virtualization platforms, that is new. Um, I can see like a new icon over here. And then inside the virtualization platforms, uh, or perhaps it was before, but uh, to me it looks new in 12.2. <laughs> um, so now we can see new things here, right? We, have see, we can see Proxmos V, uh, the rest of virtualization, Oracle Linux uh, virtualization manager. Some of them were here, but Proxmos 100% it's new. Um, I don't have right now the cluster up and running, but I'll show you how to configure um, uh, the Proxmox backup replicate or backup uh, of the Proxmox on next videos. Things we the that I can show you quickly as well and their applications for the physical infrastructure we have now uh Vim has support for MongoDB and then I'll show you that on another video as well how easily we can protect a MongoDB cluster. Um it has a lot of new things, uh version 12.2. I'll try to produce more videos regarding uh this new this new version 12.2. This video was a quick uh, walkthrough with you to um, to walk you through the uh, upgrade of uh, the Enterprise Manager and to walk you through the uh, upgrade of Beam Backup Replication with some tips um, regarding best practices, as I mentioned, right? With the config backup, with uh, disabling of the stopping and disable all the jobs and so on and so forth. Very small things. Probably you have done it many, many times. Um, and show you a quick, very, very quick view of the new things, which was just uh, the Proxmox on the wizard, and then the uh, MongoDB. We will walk you through uh, those features or in future videos. So uh, until then, thank you for watching. And yeah, if you have any comments, please uh, leave it here uh, down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.